What's up guys, my name is Ryan and I spent nearly a year living on the Hawaiian Islands and I want to show you my favorite places, so here's my Hawaii Top 10. Hawaii has to be one of the most beautiful places that I've ever lived. From the real best surfing to some of my favorite cliff jump spots, the Hawaiian Islands have so much to offer. All right, let's start this video off at the island of Kauai. Of all the Hawaiian Islands, Kauai is the oldest, making it the most beautiful and diverse. It's nicknamed the Garden Island, and when you go there, you'll understand why. One of my favorite places is the Nepali Coast. There are very few places in the world, if any, that match the beauty of this coastline. The Nepali Coast is filled with sea cliffs that rise 3,000 feet from the ocean contrasted with deep narrow valleys that empty to the sea below. There's several ways to experience the Nepali coast. One of the best ways is by helicopter. Prices range from anywhere between two to three hundred dollars for a 50 minute tour. You'll be able to get some of the best views of Nepali coastal cliffs and valleys. Another great way is through a boat tour. These range from three to six hours and cost upwards to hundred fifty dollars per person. If you're on a budget like me, there's plenty of hikes and lookout spots you can go to. One of my favorites is the Kalalua Lookout. It'll give you one of the most amazing views of the Nepali coast. From the north shore of the island, you can also do the hike to Hanukapiai Falls. It's about an eight mile round trip hike located on the north shore of Kauai. The first half of the hike will take you to this beautiful beach and the last half leads you to a 300 foot waterfall. Well worth it. Another amazing place to visit in Kauai is Waimea Canyon. Nicknamed the Grand Canyon of the Pacific, it's over 10 miles long and 3,000 feet deep. I just love the contrast between the red rock against the tropical vegetation. Throughout the canyon, there's great lookout spots and hikes you can go on. The Waimea Canyon lookout will give you an amazing view of the whole canyon. If you like cliff jumping, a fun spot on Kauai is Shipwreck Beach. Shipwreck Beach is a perfect place to send a gainer or a double back flip off. The cliff is only about 20 feet high, so it's nothing too crazy. It was hilarious to watch my buddies flip off of it. Shipwreck Beach also has some great waves. The locals were doing some flips with their boogie boards off the waves. After Kauai, we're going to head over to the island of Maui. Of all the islands, I'd say Maui is one of the best islands if you want to relax and have a good vacation. It's full of incredible resorts, beaches, and snorkeling spots. One of my favorite places is Black Rock Beach. It's this great beach located by some resorts. And what I like about it is there's this fun cliff you can jump off. The water's so clear and it's just a fun place to jump. It's also a great place to snorkel and you might even get lucky and see some turtles there. Another really cool spot on Maui is the Haleakala National Park. It's home to the Haleakala Volcano, which is Maui's highest point at 10,023 feet high. When you're there, you'll feel like you're on another planet. The crater is filled with dozens of volcanic domes and it's just such a strange yet beautiful place. A fun day trip to do on Maui is the Road to Hana. It's this 64 mile long road that rides along Maui's northeast coast. The round trip takes anywhere from 5 to 10 hours depending on how many stops you make so it's a perfect day trip. The Road to Hana is full of waterfalls and lush jungle. One place I really like is the Pipiwai Trail. It's about a 3.4 mile hike and goes through a beautiful bamboo forest and ends at this beautiful waterfall. Such a fun and fairly easy hike. One of the best snorkel spots in Maui is called Molokini Crater. It's this crescent shaped island in the middle of the ocean situated right off the coast of Maui. We took a tour boat out there and depending on when and who you go with, it can cost anywhere from $30 to $100. In my opinion, it's well worth it. The water is perfectly clear and it's full of aquatic life out there. After Maui, we're gonna head over to the Big Island, also known as the Island of Hawaii. It's the largest and youngest of all the islands, and it's also the most volcanically active. So you gotta go check out the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. It's home to several active volcanoes. You can explore the lava tubes or take a hike around the park. I think one of the coolest things you can do is you can take a boat tour to see the lava fall into the sea. I mean, look how big this lava flow is compared to the people on the boat. I mean, it's just absurd. There are very few places in the world that have spots where you can watch lava flow into the ocean. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Another really cool spot on Big Island is Mauna Kea. It's the highest place in Hawaii, and if it wasn't submerged underwater, it would be higher than Everest with a height of 33,500 feet. Due to its high altitude and conditions, it's one of the best places in the world for astronomy. It's home to several telescopes that observe the night sky. After the Big Island, we're gonna head to Oahu. I have to say that Oahu is my favorite island. I lived there for over eight months on the North Shore and it was some of the greatest times of my life. If you love hiking, surfing, or adventures, Oahu is the place for you. One of the most popular places on Oahu is Waikiki. It's the perfect combination of city and ocean. The beach is lined with high-rise hotels and shops. 
and it's a perfect place to surf and catch some waves. One of my favorite things that me and my wife, we took a sunset sail on a catamaran. It cost about $40 and we got on the catamaran about 30 minutes before the sunset and rowed out into the ocean to get the perfect view of Waikiki. I mean, it's a great day and activity in general and you gotta do it if you're in Honolulu. Another really fun spot near Waikiki is China Walls. It's just a 20 minute drive from Honolulu and there's this lava rock edge that's perfect to jump off of. If the conditions are right, the waves hit right against the walls making it the perfect place for experienced surfers. Even if you can't surf, it's just a fun place to hang out. Now if you want a fun hike, I'd recommend the Makapu Point Lighthouse Trail. It's just a 30 minute drive from Waikiki. The hike is super easy up. It's about 2-3 to three miles on a paved road. There's some great viewpoints up there and if you're doing the hike during February or March, you might be able to spot some humpback wells. Another one of my favorite beaches in Oahu is Lanikai. Located about 30 minutes from the airport, Lanikai is a picturesque beach with a backdrop of two perfectly placed islands. The water is so blue and calm there and there's hardly any waves. From the beach you can hike up to the Lanikai pillbox. It's a super short hike and offers incredible views of Lanikai and the islands below. One of my favorite waterfalls in all of Oahu is Matawili Falls. It's this short three mile trek. When you hike there you'll feel like you're walking in the jungle. Be prepared to get super muddy and watch out for mosquitoes. When you reach the waterfall you'll feel like you're in the Garden of Eden. I mean just so magical there. It's just such a fun spot to swim in and enjoy the beauty of the area. After we're gonna head over to the west side to hike the Pu Ohulu Trail. This hike is one of my favorites. It's only 1.6 miles and you hike up to some pink pillboxes. Now when you reach the top you'll have an incredible 360 view of all the west side. I mean it's just absolutely beautiful up there. It's usually a lot sunny up there compared to other parts of the island. Now after the west side, we're going to head over to one of the most famous places on Oahu, the North Shore. Now the North Shore is a 17 mile coastline that stretches from Ka'iana Point to Kahuku. It's home to some of the greatest surfing in the world. One of the most well known beaches on the North Shore is the Bonsai Pipeline. The waves are created by a super sharp and dangerous reef that causes the waves to break just right. During the winter months, some of the most popular surfing competitions are held here and the waves can reach over 20 feet high. When there aren't crazy waves, I love swimming on the North Shore. The water is so clear and the waves are just such a fun time to swim in. Now just a five minute drive from the the Bonsai Pipeline is the Waimea Bay Beach. Now this is one of my favorite all around beaches in Oahu. During the summer it's a great snorkeling and swimming spot and in the winter months the waves can just get massive here. What I love about Waimea is the black rock. It's only about 15 feet high and it makes for one of my favorite cliff room spots in all of Hawaii. So if you're a cliff jumper like me, you gotta visit Waimea Bay. Well that is it for my Hawaii top 10. There's so many more places that I wish I could include in this video so maybe I'll have to make a part 2. Let me know where your favorite place in Hawaii is. If you want to feel relaxed, I started a relaxation channel where I post hour long videos of beautiful places around the world with common music that you can just have playing in the background to bring some peace and nature in your life. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok at Shirley.Films. Anyways, it's Ryan and we will see you later.